What up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again. And I beat everybody at Evo. Poke Chop. <laughs> I beat Sonic yeah. Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I beat King J. Right, yeah. I don't know. Dyrus. We beat Dyrus. I beat yeah. Dyrus. Smack. I beat everybody. Smack. I won the whole thing. Smack. I won the whole thing, yeah. okay? Mm hmm. Champion. Top eight. Yep. Top eight. Tw Top eight. I'm 20, number one. I'm, I'm, 20, I'm telling you, I won Evo. $28,000. Even though today is the uh, finals, she won it. I won. Sam Evo. show, Sam show. Yep, yep, yep. I did that. I I don't know what the game is called. BB tag. I played that shit. The long one. What's the long one? Oh, uh, the unification. Um, nice guy. Incarceration. <laughs> you lost, that's Uni all you remember is the unification part. Unis. E X E X. Oh, uh, do sex mocking. I don't know. Whatever. Look, the fuck. whatever. I won Evo. Yeah. So anyways, we're here to watch retail stories. She didn't win Evo. We both went 0-2, but we won our rounds. We did the combos we wanted to do during Evo. We had some hard- I, did, I was gonna say, who did the combos I wanted to do? Me. Me. I did the combos. My fight stick broke. Um, but we had a really good time. People were really nice out there. Great time. And next year, we're gonna come through and, and whoop some ass. And that's actually real. So, uh, we'll Let's be out there. these retail karma stories. Yeah. Play. Oh my god. Play. I'm not sure if being a public defender counts as a retail or service worker. No. no. <laughs> not even a little bit, but I still want to hear the story. Right. But absolutely not. No. But considering that... Sorry, I just real quick. Being a lawyer is not working retail or customer service. No. You're... No. I, it's a good joke, but leave this Reddit. I can now see why Reddit mods be assholes sometimes. I now get, I had not gotten it until this moment where I would have 100% deleted this comment. Provide criminal defense to indigent clients facing deprivation of their rights and freedom. I'll consider it service nonetheless. That's not I how this works. representing work. a scumbag client who was nah. a massive meth head who got high and beat the hell out of her eight-year-old daughter with a oh! bat after she accidentally broke mommy's meth pipe. Put her under the jail. Okay. But it's your job to represent them, so do that, please. Under the jail. She was charged with child cruelty and possession of meth. No and shit. Given her criminal record, the DA's plea offer was three Sorry. years of prison. Needless. Three years. That's sorry, just, just that's just sorry. That's just move on. We, this say, is a take forever. My client didn't forever. want to go to prison for giving that cunt what she deserved, and started freaking out at me when I told her that's the best ducking, offer I was going to get from the right. DA, and it was either They're accept that offer Australian. or go to trial. I further pointed out the mountain of evidence against her, primarily the photographs of her daughter's injuries, the bloody belt that was recovered from her bedroom, the broken meth pipe with meth residue in it, and the fact that her daughter was going to testify against case. her at trial. That's pretty fucking... After she was done cursing me out, calling me a public pretender, Hi. and every other derogatory name she could think of, she fired me and somehow managed to hire a private attorney for the low price of $8,000. Wow. I still don't know how she managed to come up with that, but I have plenty of reliable guesses. The private attorney guaranteed her that he could win her case at trial, <laughs> and that's exactly what she chose to do. Hey, he knew how to get that bread, bruh. Long story short, <laughs> the private attorney clearly never even read this woman's file before trial. The trial lasted roughly three hours. Three hours? The jury was literally out for only five minutes. Oh, man. And the man. judge sentenced her to ten years of prison. Oh, man. It was a good day. Yeah. That's Currently what you get at a consignment when you're an asshole. Do, 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 do. Gob. We have two stories of furniture, and it's only things people bring in for us to sell for some of the profit. A lady came in with her son, he was five or six, and she looked around. We had two bastels and she came up to the desk and said, I'd like to order two more of these bastels. I smiled and said, we can't do that, those belong to someone and that's all they had to consign with us. She looks back and says, well why the duck can't you order ones like this? I'm sure you can find them online. <laughs> I clench my teeth and smile again, saying, ma'am we really can't do that. If you'd like to go online you are more than welcome to look for yourself, but I can't help you and I'm sorry. She huffed and started walking to the door, talking about getting me fired, Ooh. making a horrible review of this place. Ooh. She then got a nice big face full of doors. Oh! 
It's a push door and it was locked. Oh! She looks at me and screams, why the duck is this long? <coughs> I have no idea. Then her son looks at her and says, mommy you were mean to that lady, and I don't wanna go till you say sorry. Best. Kid. Ever. It wasn't the customer, it was the manager. We're not, we're not, that's why I clapped. Okay. Then everybody clapped. <laughs> she was awful. She was rude. Intentionally picked out favorites and gave them presents in front of everyone. No. Even when they didn't like her and tried no. to avoid it. Messed up schedules on purpose for people she didn't like. Etc. Etc. I believe that. Worst yeah. manager ever. Yeah. So there was a huge storm coming in. And people were really worried about it. Like the news telling people to stay home, other businesses closing. We don't ever do that shit in Vegas. So I it was wish. up to her I really don't. to either keep our store open or close it. Of course, she kept it open. Oh. Because yeah. schools closed, only half our scheduled employees showed up. The rest called in, and she called her favorites and told them they didn't have to come in. Well, as the like five of us who showed up were standing there, watching out the front windows. There were zero customers. Right, because she the starts bad yelling at us, threatening to write us all up, etc. And we are like, no one is here. All the work is done. We are watching the wind bend trees over <laughs> and worried about if we are safe slash will be able to get home. Right about this time we hear a super loud crashing noise. Car chunk car chunk. Car chunk car chunk. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We're children. We are fucking children. That's As the industrial air conditioner on top of the building got blown off. So a tornado. Yeah. So you guys I, were experiencing a tornado like, and you still went to work? I was like, hurricane? Y'all are dumb. I would have been fired. Y'all are so dumb. Yeah. Like it rolled along the roof, then went flying into the parking lot. As you can assume, the thought of tornado or hurricane are terrifying to us West Coast folk Ugh. who don't experience such horrible weather. Right onto her car. It was so perfect, it was surreal. Dead center, smashed her car flat. That's great. Like if she had been in it, she would have died. Yeah. And it only happened because she parked right up by the building, where we had specifically <laughs> been told not to park. Damn. All our cars were out in the farthest corner of the lot. Right, because We later found out her car wasn't paid off. It was some stupidly expensive BMW mm. or something. And her insurance didn't cover the damage because it was an <laughs> act of God. I have one. Oh, come I have on. one. Okay, you go first. God damn it. So I'm not technically retail, but I am customer service. Yeah. I'm in a restaurant and I told this fucking lady, it was hella busy, hella busy outside on the patio. Right. Because even though when it's 102 degrees, bitches want to be like, I want to sit outside because I want to people watch. Bro, and it'd be hot as fuck. And out I'm there just like, you just going to be watching people be mad because they outside, but okay, got you. So this lady. I, w I had a wait list going on and this lady I told her I said it's gonna be about 10 to 15 minutes before my server's ready for you and she's like but you have all these tables but my server needs to be ready for you she's like well can't I just sit at one of these tables and I was like no I have a wait list and so anyway so she was all pissy about that right so then I go finally I get to her I take her to her table and she was hella rude she checked every like two minutes three minutes I was like ma'am I told you 10 to 15 minutes it's been four but it's one of those 10 to 15 minutes if I show up it's over already right I, I wish yeah. <laughs> like no bitch i told you 10 to 15 minutes go somewhere for 10 to 15 minutes yeah, i know i checked at six but maybe it's open so anyway so i go to take her to her table there's one table that's by the railing beautiful table right under a tree birds be shitting on that shit huh. there's another table that's right next to it right right, right. And, but it's on the other side of the tree where there's a canopy birds don't be shitting on that table got you so i take her to the table where the birds don't be shitting yeah and i'm like here you go blah 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 <laughs> And she was like nasty to me. She was like, when I called her up, she was like, finally, right, blah, blah, blah. Right. So I finally seat her at the table. It's right under the tree. We do tend to have a problem with the birds, whatever. She, and she was like, but I want that table. I want a people watch. I can't people watch at this table. Why would you put me here? I told you I want a people watch. And I was like, um, I said, I feel like you can see pretty well. Like I said, we try to avoid seating that other table um, just because like we do have a problem with the birds. She's like, well, that's the table I want. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna seat you at this table. I do have to let you know the patio was full. If I seat you here and something happens, I have to move you inside. You cannot move to another table on the patio. Right. So I seat her at the table she wants, the bird shit table. Yeah. And then 
Ted Machina, this table is unacceptable. <laughs> a bird just pooped right next to my plate. Blah, blah, blah. I want to sit somewhere else. And I was like, okay, I can move you inside. Well, I want to sit on the patio because I want to people watch. And I was like, <laughs> I said, I don't have anywhere else to put you. She's like, fine, I'll just sit there then. Can you send someone over to clean up the table? Right. Like, yeah, whatever. I wouldn't want to eat with bird shit on my table either. Right. Send someone over to clean the table and... I see her talking like mad mess to the person that she's with. Right. Like she's pointing at me and doing all that. And she does all that and at the end of her meal, a bird shit on her head. Be nice to people. It was great. Yeah.